Well, we were all wondering, well, we all knew, actually, that USADA would be the drug testing agency to work the May 2nd fight between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. Uh, but they finally came out and announced their involvement in the fight. Um, I guess we could have always held hopes that Vada would have been involved, but it was just extremely unlikely considering that, you know, uh, Team Mayweather and kind of Team Heyman as well has said that they won't do Vada anymore. Um, you know, we might be able to get them to use it for a fight here and there for certain athletes, maybe, but they, Vada was catching too many of them and they literally said that they were being framed and set up. So, whatever. They don't want to use it no more. Uh, seems to me like this, they were getting fucking caught too much, so they went to go with the, the shittier agency, the one that you can easily beat. But anyway, all right, Floyd is from boxing scene. Uh, Mayweather Pacquiao, USADA announced his involvement. Uh, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao have agreed to take part in U.S. anti-doping agency, USADA, Olympic-style testing program ahead of their May 2nd bout in Las Vegas. Uh, talks about the drug testing had been a major stumbling block and bringing together the two biggest draws, even though it really wasn't major. Uh, Floyd requested it, Manny said no, then Manny said yes, and then Floyd backed out of the negotiations. That's not very a big stumbling block. Uh, but USADA has confirmed both fighters have consented to the rules established under the World Doping Code, the World Anti-Doping Code, my bad, and the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA's banned substance list. Uh, like I talked about in the Heredia video, that you know every year the fighters are giving given a list of the substances they're not allowed to take. The list changes every year. You know, in 2013, some stuff might have been on the list. In 2014, it wasn't on, but some new shit was added. Because, you know, they can't test for everything. It's too much money. Um, and there's always new, you know, they literally just got to change a molecule of certain uh, PEDs. And it, you know, they can beat the test that way. They can no longer, their current test can't detect it and such. Um, so they're constantly changing the list up, but there's constantly, you know, scientists are working around the clock trying to develop uh, PEDs to beat the test also. So it's, you, know, you can still use, uh, even with VADA, but, you know, they're, they just catch the people, and you saw it doesn't. Um, it's a strong statement of importance and of clean and safe competition to have these two fighters voluntarily agree to have a WADA level anti-doping program implemented for this fight, quotes, said USADA's CEO, Travis Tigard. Uh, he's a clown. Uh, we commend them for their stand for clean sport and the message it sends to all those who want to compete clean at the highest levels of all sport. Um, I'd commend them if they used VADA. Because, like, everyone in the, the, the boxing community especially knows that's the one that's, you know, taken more seriously. Uh, they can, like I said, they both can be beat, but USADA is more looked at as like a joke because of the holes you can, do, you can just, you know, all through it. You can beat the test so easily, you know. The PED scientists have literally studied it, looked over it. They said USADA is a joke when it comes to testing for PEDs. Exact words, you'd have to be a fucking idiot to get caught using PEDs by USADA. You know, even though I think, uh... They did end up grabbing up, I think, one person. Um, the well, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, 
The defense-minded Mayweather and the aggressive Pacquiao have already received education on the USADA program and, and have enrolled in USADA's registered testing pool by providing their whereabouts so they can be located for out-of-competition testing prior to the fight. Um, USADA will also perform in-competition testing after the fight. Um, both fighters agreed to blood and urine testing. So basically, you know, they just had to take a little class and acknowledge all the stuff they're not allowed to take um, and give their whereabouts on where they're going to be at so you saw that can show up and then give them six hours to piss or to, to give blood, which kind of de defeats the purpose of random, but whatever. Samples collected by USADA will be sent to WADA-accredited laboratories for analysis, including testing for the human growth hormone and EPO. Um, okay, that's cool that they're going to be sent to, you know, accredited laboratories, but so the fuck what? So are all the other tests that they sent out that didn't catch anything, and then when they did catch something, they didn't report it to the proper channel through the proper channels. Instead of going straight to the commission, like in New York State, where they got caught covering up dirty tests, um, you know they they just give it. They tell the promoter or you know the manager of the fighter and just leave it at that, you know, and then let them kind of work their magic and cover it up. What kind of um, testing program is that? You know, plus you can get medical waivers. I mean, you know, I've talked about it a million times. It's fucking garbage. You saw it as garbage. As far as I'm concerned, neither one of these guys are being tested. Um, it all comes down to do, if you have the balls to take it and risk it, because it is a slight risk, you might get caught. But if you have proper, you know, PED gurus and shit in your camp, uh, even doctors that'll write you a doctor's excuse, there's, I mean, a doctor with a doctor's excuse, there's no risk because you're allowed medical exemption through USADA, even though VADA won't give you the exemption if you're using something, you know, like uh, testosterone replacement therapy because you abused your body with steroids for so long that now you no longer produce testosterone properly, like some fighters. Uh, not in this fight, but you know, one that's fighting in April, I believe. Um, Lamont Peterson has to take uh, TRT now to keep his levels normal, supposedly. But, you know, it's just fucking bullshit. But you're allowed a medical waiver then, you know. But VADA, if you're taking that stuff, they just say, well, you know, get it, get your therapy. When you end your therapy, then you can fight. But that's only if you're, you know, agreeing to VADA. Um... If you're just you're doing regular commission testing or USADA, you're allowed to fight, you know. So as long as you don't, them fighters don't involve VADA, their career is fine. Uh, USADA and the Nevada State Athletic Commission are working collaboratively and will share all relevant information about the program, including all test results. Well, what's relevant, number one? Are they going to share to us if someone gets busted? You know, that would be considered relevant, but since they don't fucking report the positive test results to the commissions all the time, you know, well, actually, probably never, um, you know, it's like, okay, if you're tested and you come up dirty, and that test gets destroyed, and the, the, the paperwork's, you know, shredded, burned, whatever, then you never tested positive, just like in New York State test positive gets covered up. So why would they, you know, and they, and the New York State Athletic Commission wasn't in on it. They ended up having to, you know, someone dropped a dime on them and the commission had to go after them to catch them. So it's not like the Nevada State Athletic Commission would be in on it. They just won't fucking tell the commission. And as long as no one snitches, then, you know, the commission will never even find out. So that's where it just comes down to, I mean, you know, how serious is this shit? You know, we know that they are, they're corrupt, flat out corrupt. You know, and Travis Tigard, the CEO, 
was the CEO and they were caught being involved in corruption and, you know, hiding of test results and destroying samples, which should never be destroyed. They're actually telling them now to keep samples for as long as possible so they can be tested, you know, even years down the road to find out if so and so was dirty in certain fights that happened in their career, you know. Um, but... You know, to destroy a test result is flat out against all protocol, period. You know. um, but they, USADA don't have a problem with doing any of that. And that's the one they choose for the biggest fight, even though Manny has been doing a VADA for, since his, his return. You know, um, but for this fight, he couldn't get the fight unless he agreed to USADA because Floyd refuses VADA. Right, flat out, man. You know, don't take a rocket scientist to understand why. You know. Anyway, that's all it says, and um, you know, I've done enough videos talking about this and my thoughts and all that. So, it is what it is, man. I guess that's what we have to live with. Uh, when you really look at it, I mean, both of these athletes could come in dirty as shit if they wanted to, and nothing's there. But then you got to question one is like. You know, someone who will obviously do anything to win. And one is always been a good sportsman in terms of in-the-ring activity. And always tested clean. You know, was willing to share his test results with the public through the court. Uh, one of them paid to not have his results shown, you know, publicly through the court. Um, you know, one has never done VADA. You know, one wants to do it in every fight. I mean, it's... You know, like I said, don't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's going on here. Um, let me know what you think. Pretty much know what everyone thinks anyway, though. So, But whatever. Comment if you want. Uh, Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace.